It's turned into a tradition here at KTSM. On each of the last three Christmas Eves, I've dressed up in my dad's ugly Christmas sweater from 1984 and done a reading of an original poem. Twas the night before Christmas in the borderland. Now, 2021 was a year of ups and downs and changes galore, but it was never boring. So I've got my tree presents. The milk and cookies have, of course, been set out for Santa Claus. Without further ado, a KTSM 9 Sports original, Twas the night before Christmas in the borderland. Twas the night before Christmas and all through the borderland, hope was alive, happiness in hand. Joe Golding arrived in April with a tournament win over Texas hung with care in hopes that one for the minors soon would be there. There's been a few changes in the last 12 months at New Mexico State. Doug Martin is gone. Jerry Kill will now try his luck. Over at the swoop, Mark Lowry has moved on. Locomotive FC, though, pushed forward without him. Eighth Notch will still sing their songs. On the world's biggest stage, UTEP shone bright. Emmanuel Career won Olympic gold. What an amazing sight. Soccer stars were a big story this year. Ricardo Pepe and Santi Munoz could have incredible careers. In Dana Dimmel's fourth season, UTEP football finally broke through. A bold berth for the Miners. Let's see what's next for the crew. The same could be said for Ben Wallace's team, UTEP Volleyball. With its best year ever, they were most certainly living the dream. New Mexico State Hoops beat Washington State. They're whack favorites once again. Imagine what the Aggies can create. The star players in town are garnering fame, and it's come to that time where we shout them by name. On Tavares, on Jacob, on Katya and KJ, on Diego, on Deuce, on Toby and LJ. There's too many to name. Just know they're all great, much like the San Eli cross country team that won state. To the pros, Aaron Jones finally secured the bag. The Packers could win the Super Bowl for him and his dad. The Chihuahuas returned after a one year hiatus. Hockeyville, USA, that's what our city's new name is. Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. It's KJ Lewis, perhaps the top talent that the Sun City will ever claim. Ivan Melendez became the Hispanic Titanic, a college World Series star who never panicked. High school football had quite the resurgence. Three squads in round three, they most definitely earned it. Tristan Lee Cohn made the Big 12 jump from Sewell Ross to Texas. Now that's some good stuff. His Old America squad made a sweet 16 run, as did the Chapin Huskies. They'll both be back in a couple of months. There were a few state champs on the wrestling mat and lots of D1 signees. It doesn't get better than that. For the first time in 60 years, the Aggies and Miners will be conference rivals. 2023 is New Mexico State's target arrival. It was a year of change and uncertainty, no doubt. But the Borderlands athletes gave us many reasons to be proud. So as we look back at this year and all of its sights, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night.